What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to the final episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so it's been a hell of a year, guys. And yes, this is uh, <laughs> the final recording of the Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. If, if you guys haven't noticed, yeah, the last ten episodes kind of didn't record. I just, you know, remade them and all that stuff, or... We refurbished. I don't even know, guys. But, yes, here we are in the final episode of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. And, well, we're going to finish it off by taking on the Elite Four. Yes. The Pokemon Elite Four. Now, things have changed ever since he became the champion. Yes, they have boosted up their Pokemon. They have, you know, they, 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 they are ready for you. They are all ready for you. And, uh, well, your boy Draven right here is ready for them. And, uh, crap baskets. I forgot to heal my Pokemon. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I didn't necessarily use a lot of my uh, PPs and HPs and all that stuff. Uh, if you guys don't remember, yeah, I, I sort of I sort of did the whole Lugia thing in the last episode. That was literally the last thing I recorded, so... I'm not... I'm not yeah, it's not going to be bad, me, you know kind of wasting two full restores against these guys right here so yeah okay anywho let's go right ahead and kick some ass take some names let's go ahead and finish this thing off yo i've been waiting for you champion with the strength you've gained we can battle with no holds, holds barred not to mention our boy steven sent us elite uh, elite four some keystones in other words my pokemon can make evolve too <laughs> this is gonna be a fun one well that's if you can get it off. So here it is, guys. The Pokemon League. We're digging on Sydney. This cocky guy is in for a fight of his life because, well, he thinks he's going to win so easily. Okay, so here he is coming out with a Scrafty. And yes, the Elite Four will have a full team right here. And their team will be buffed up to level 70. And, well, this guy, he does have his effect with uh, Intimidate. But... Let's go to go. Or let's go with this guy, uppercut. Sure, you can. And that nearly takes this guy away, but thanks to that intimidate, it kind of messes me up a little bit right there. So let's go again, sky uppercut for the win. Sure, you can. Okay, alrighty. Okay. And if you guys haven't noticed, yes, we added Deoxys onto the team mainly because, well, you know, let's just finish this off. Let's finish it off with a bang. And this guy's coming out with a Mandibuzz. I got Thunderball. The greatest acquisition in this walkthrough. Yes. Thunderball. Okay, so here is Mandibuzz. Level 70. Mandibuzz. Time to take this discharge. And there she goes. Okay, and well, here comes a faint attack. And that, well, it's not going to miss. I might as well go with a charge beam just to, just in case right here. So here we go. Charge beam for the win. And there you go. Mandibuzz doesn't like me right now. Yeah. Okay. Everybody else is getting points. And here comes Shift Tree. So let's go back to Tommy JDF. And let's go ahead and talk a bit. So I'm going to keep on repeating myself. Well, I'm just going to repeat myself one last time right here, guys. Uh, the last, what, 10 episodes? 10 episodes and a half, probably. I don't even know, guys. But, yes, uh, if you guys noticed, yes, they were footage from Pokemon Omega Ruby and all that crud. And, uh, you know, it was it was mainly because I have an Australian an Australian Nintendo DS, 3DS, I should say. And uh, what was it called? Uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't know what times these 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 Pokemon will come up, especially on our on Australian time. I didn't even want to waste the time to actually figure it out. So what I did, you know, I went back to Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby since I've already completed it and all that stuff. And that way I could show you how to capture these Pokemon with the exception of a few, I think. And, well, look at that. There's a rough skin right there. But Charpedo has been defeated. Okay. All righty. And, yes, we get to level 75. And, well, let's see. This guy is going to be coming out with an Absol. This Pokemon right here is going to get an ass whooping by Shenron. So let's go right ahead and switch it out. Now, it wasn't kind of lazy. Kind of. But then it was more productive than anything just because, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and Mega Evolve and Dragon Ascent this Pokemon. Yeah, was it, um, was it a little lazy? Kind of. Maybe just a little bit because, 
You know, we could have just done them early in the morning, but the thing was, I wasn't going to wake up at like 2 in the morning when it's Australian time at 8 or something just to find a specific Pokemon. And as many of you guys already know, the Lake Trio was the hardest one to actually find uh, when I did Pokemon Alpha Sapphires or Omega Ruby. So I was like, I'm not going to waste my time for that. So here we go. Dragon Ascent for the win. Oh my god, that is OP. And that right there was a Zoroark. <laughs> okay, so I think he was just looking for me to like uh, waste a to waste a what was it called a turn? But he's coming out with a real Absol. I'm just gonna go with the Dragon Assault or Ascent right here, since we are faster. And here comes the Mega Evolution of Absol. Look at this super emo with wings. I think every early 2000s emo would would have loved wings especially this one so i think that's a dedication to the emos shout out to the emos early 2000s who are like literally 30s now <laughs> and well there you go we have defeated this person and well elite four sydney has been defeated yeah buddy <laughs> i knew you were really you were the strongest well hurry up and get out here everyone else is waiting is still waiting for you well this isn't much about defending the championship, or I don't even know. It is defending my championship. And, uh, well, let's see. The next person is going to be Phoebe, so we got to we gotta prepare for that Pokemon trainer. Yeah. Let's go right ahead and do that. And, oh, my God, it's going to get a little eerie right here. Well, it is a little eerie. The door is open, and uh, she is a ghost-type trainer. Might get a little bit scary right here, so let's go right ahead. And, uh, you know what? Let's go with Leviathan right here. If worse comes to worse, we're going to use Shenron. You know, it's going to bail us out. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. I'm bringing a little something new to the table this time. Prepare yourself to bring it on. Oh, okay. So here goes round number two. Phoebe, Phoebe, and, oh, wow, that is a good graphic right there. And, uh... Well, she's going to be coming out with Bayonet. Now, if you guys don't notice, Ghost-type Pokemon are very manipulative. They like to mess with your stats uh, in whatever way they can. Confusion, poison, fire, it doesn't matter. If they can do it, they can do it. So, we're going to go with a Surf Attack right here. And... That right there nearly defeats this Pokemon. And here comes a Shadow Hadouken. That doesn't do much. And here comes a full restore. Yes, it is. See, I got these guys all. Yeah, I got these guys figured out. So go ahead. Full restore while my Pokemon keeps on surfing all over you. And that nearly defeats it. And here comes one more surf attack for the win. And there you go. Bayonet has been defeated. Look at that. And, well, we're getting some points right here. So that's, that's always awesome. And, well, let's see. Who's next? Miss Magius. This Pokemon right here is a little crazy, so we're going to go with Thunderball right here. I'm going to be strategic in this one, because Thunderball is a fast, fast Pokemon. And we're going to try something a little different. All right, let's go with a light screen, since these guys like to use special attacks. All righty, five turns. Bring it on. And here comes a Shadow Ball, which uh, won't be as effective. Look at that. Now, let's go with a Charge Beam to heighten up the special attack. And there you go. So that's going to increase our special attack. And here comes another Shadow Ball. Like, you guys can see, I'm going to try and up Thunderball's... Uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to try and up his uh, special attack one more time because, yeah, these special... These the, the Shadow Balls can get a little crazy. And that right there has put us at two levels. And here comes another Shadow Ball. And that right there, let's go with a Discharge Attack. And there goes Miss Magus. Alrighty. Okay. So we're two levels up on our Special Attack. So let's go ahead and take on this Driplim. As you guys already know, it is both a Ghost and Flying type Pokemon. So it is just right for the pickings right here. Look at this. Oh, yeah, buddy. Okay. So I think that was like four turns off of the light screen. So the next one, yeah, okay. So here comes Chandelure. 
And let's go discharge attack. We're, we're just going to be gambling right here. We're going to just discharge our way out of here. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Okay. Okay, Thunderball. Finish him off. And here comes Dustnor. This Pokemon has pressure. This right here is going to mess with my discharge just a little bit. It will take it down two levels, I believe. And with that... Oh, wow. Here comes a Hex. And I think... Yes. Okay, let's finish this guy off. Thunderball. Discharge. And there goes Dustnor. Ooh. Yeah, this Pokemon is not loving us, not one bit. And, well, here comes Sableye. Sableye is another Pokemon that can be very, very pesky. So, let's go with another discharge, or discharge. And, well, it's Mega Evolving. Look at this guy. He has a big old crystal as a shield. And, oh, here comes a fake out. And that takes down Thunderball. Okay. All right, well, I had fun while it, while it lasted. So let's go with Tommy JDF right here. Time to do it. Let's go. Time to Digivolve. Let's go with a flamethrower attack. And here comes the Mega Evolution to Blaziken. Oh, yes. Bring that knee up. That's right. We're about to Muay Thai you. And here comes a flamethrower. And that nearly defeats Sableye. And here comes uh, whatever this move is. Oh, wow. Battle of the Mega Evolutions. And, well, thanks to our speed boost, that will raise us up just a tad bit right there. Let's go with the Brave Bird. I'm feeling very, very risky right now. And, well, here we go. Brave Bird. Finish it. And, wow. Okay, so that right there. Well, Sableye is uh, not going down that easily. Let's finish it off with a Flamethrower Attack. For the win. And there you go. Sableye has been defeated. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. You see? Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Look at that. Whew. Okay. On the bright side, we fought together. And so the bonds between my Pokemon and me got even deeper. I look forward to being able to battle you again sometime. Okay. Whatever you say, homegirl. Let's go ahead. And not use that Max Revive. We're going to use that for a little bit later on, hopefully. And, uh, well, we got six rare candies right here. I might as well use them, since this is, this is the final episode. There's no shame in doing that. Let's see. Let's go ahead and give some full restores. And there we go. And there we go. Okay, so... Let's get one more battle and see if Gaia gets to level 70. If it doesn't, then, well, guess what? We're going to be using some full restores just to even out the playing field right here. So, let's see. Let's go straight to Tommy JDF. And let's see what's up. Okay, so we're in the Winter Wonderland right here. We are not sliding. And, well, let's see what we got. Okay. I've been waiting for a trainer with a burning hot soul. How can you oppose Mega Evolution that can freeze everything? Uh, it's very easy. Just, you know, have a fighting slash fire type Pokemon. And, well, here we are taking on Glacia. And, well, she's going to be coming out with Obama Snow. All right. Obama Snow is looking uh, pretty mean right here. Okay. All righty. Let's go, Tommy JDF. You know what? Screw it. We're going to go with Mega Evolution right off the bat because uh, we kind of need to. So let's go right ahead, Mega Evolve, and use that Flamethrower. It's nothing too big. So here we go, Mega Evolution. Let's get it. This Pokemon's looking pretty legit. And here comes the Flamethrower. I think that's like eight time damage. Yes, Obama Snow defeated. And because of that, we get a little bit of a speed boost just right there. Thunderbolt grows to level 73. We're going to get hit by Hail. But here comes a speed boost. And here comes Wall Rain. We're going to be switching out. We're not going to take that risk against Wall Rain just because, yeah, it, it, it it's a kind of Pokemon that uses water type techniques. I don't want to lose Gaia the Fierce Knight, right? Or not Gaia the Fierce Knight, but uh, Tommy JDF. So let's go with a light screen to prevent any kind of uh, mishaps. And 
Here comes a blizzard attack. A very, very strong special attack. Not as effective. And... Well, let's go. Discharge. Alrighty. Here comes the discharge attack. This bulky wall rain is getting hit. And here comes a body slam attack. That will hurt. And yes, we're getting damaged by both the hail and this Pokemon. So here we go again. Discharge for the win. Yeah, buddy. There goes wall rain. It's not loving us right now. And well, Leviathan grows the level 77. And we're still getting buffed by hail. So... Who's the next Pokemon? Frostlass is the next Pokemon. So, let's go Tommy JDF yet again. Hopefully it can actually win this time. So here we go. Tommy JDF, how's it going? And with the hail, I think Frostlass is going to have a speed advantage. So here we go. Flamethrower, we are faster than you. And that right there takes care of Frostlass. Bye-bye. Alrighty. Okay, look at this. Level 76, Tommy JDF. And, well, the hail has stopped. Thank you. And we get a speed boost. And here comes Vanillux. Vanillux. That is a cool name. Too bad. We're going to have to flamethrower it out of here. So here we go. Flamethrower for the win. And there goes Vanillux. Alrighty. Okay, look at that. Vanillux and G Gaia the Fierce Knight grows to level 70 or 69. And we now have a huge speed advantage over anything. So eh, we're going to we're going to do a little uh flamethrower for the win on everybody. So here we go, flamethrower. Yeah. Say goodbye to the polar bears. Oh yes. Okay, alrighty. And well, here comes another speed boost for the win. And Glalie is going to be coming out. So here comes the Pokemon that will Mega Evolve from Glacius team. So here we go, Flamethrower. And let's see what this Pokemon looks like as a Mega Evolutionary. And as you guys can see, its mouth opens and it has a big old horn and has red eyes. It's looking scary AF. But here comes Flamethrower attack in its mouth. That is how you win it. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty, and Deoxys, without doing anything, grows to level 81 because, well, you know, it's Deoxys. It is really hot. It is. Hm. Do you intend to thaw my heart? That actually wouldn't bother me. Anyway, continue onward. Drake is, uh, oh, is waiting for you as well. I hope it's not the Drake that we all hate. Okay, so let's go ahead and use a full restore onto this Pokemon. And let's see... We have ethers. Oh, wow. We, we have a lot of... Uh... Okay, let's see. Can restore, single move, max ether, elixirs. We have four of these, so... Can restore 10 PP2. Okay, so let's give it to Thunderball since it's been doing more. And Tommy JDF. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, and uh, yeah, I forgot something. <laughs> yeah. Let's go with an ether to... Shenron, I think it's Dragon Ascent, needs a little bit of a... <laughs> okay, alrighty, so... Let's go... Gaia the Fierce Knight. Okay, so we have some uh, rare candies to give out. Gaia the Fierce Knight is now at level 70. There we go, 71, 72, 73, and... Uh, yeah, 74. And 75. Okay, so there we go. Somebody's at level 75. And, uh, well, our team is now well established. Was it kind of dirty for me to use that, all those rare candies on that Pokemon? No, no, it's not. It's the last episode, guys. Come on, so give me a break. So we're going to be going with Gaia the Fierce Knight. Now, there is a move that I do want to switch out. And hopefully I have something in here that will actually help us. We got Thunderbolt. Let's see. Let's see if Thunderbolt actually works for this Pokemon. Let's see. Let's see what kind of moves it can we can take away. So as you guys can see, it has mo or it has a what was it called? A uh, magical leaf. So I think this one will actually work. Go right ahead and do that. And then Earthquake Attack. Earthquake and Attack can be learned by two Pokemon. I'm probably going to have to save that for a little bit later. 
Let's see, Psychic, Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is probably another move, but we won't be needing it right here. Flamethrower, Sandstorm, um, Flame Charge, huh. Charge Beam, Acrobatics, Explosion, Volt Switch, Frost Breath, X Scissors, Dragon Tail. Hmm. Power Up Punch, Dazzling Gleam. You know what? I think we're ready to go. Let's go right ahead and continue on this adventure right here. And we're going to be taking on Drake, not the rapper. And uh, let's go right ahead and see what he's all about. Alrighty. How's it going, Drake? It's been a while. You know, we haven't seen each other since, well, I don't know. Alrighty. Oh, I've been waiting for you. My Pokemon and I are going to show you everything we've got. Well then, you had better get ready to try and stop me. Alrighty, so here it is, round four of the Pokemon Elite Four of Hoenn, and uh, we're taking on Drake, not the not the rapper, but Drake himself. Alrighty, so here he is coming out with Altaria. How's it going, Altaria? You're looking pretty swifty. And here is Guy of the Fierce Knight at level 75, and uh, well, let's go with a Moonblast. So here goes, Moonblast. Bam. For the win. Oh, man, this is going to be horrible. Horrible, man. And here comes Dragalage. Dragalage right here, I believe, is the Poison and Dragon type Pokemon. So we're going to have to switch out. And uh, you know what? Let's go with Shenron. Let's go with Shenron because, yes, Dragalage is a coverage to the fairy type Pokemon that we, we will be seeing. And there he is. The, the best part about this is that we do have speed advantage over this Pokemon. So let's go ahead and do this and use a Dragon Pulse attack. Yeah, let's Mega Evolve. Alrighty. Is this kind of unfair? Maybe. But I do not care. I do not care. We're just going to finish these guys off right here. So, here we go. Yeah, Dragon Pulse. For the win. Dragalage has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay. And, well, let's see. Here comes Kingdra. You know what? We're just going to continue on right here, guys. Screw it. Let's do it. Let us do it. Here we go. Dragon Pulse for the win. And, bam. Bam. Oh my god. Oh man, what was the whole point of bringing Deoxys again? I don't know. And well, Shenron is learning Hyper Voice. I kind of want to see what this is all about. It is 10 PP and uh, user lets out a horribly echoing shout with the power to inflict damage. Yeah. Extreme speed. Hmm. What does extreme speed have? Huh. You know what? Maybe later on. Hyper Voice. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Screw it. No, let's not give up. And let's go ahead and forget Extreme Speed. If I did any kind of like, don't do that, then well, oh well. So, we have Hyper Voice. And, uh, well, here comes Flygon. Let's go ahead and uh, continue on taking on Flygon. Flygon's effects does not work right here, so let's go right ahead and use a Dragon Pulse for the win. Oh, yes. OP. OPAF. Overpowered as fuck. Yeah, we're kicking some butt, taking some names, and everybody's just mooching off the, the victories that Shenron has. Here comes Haxorus. Oh, man. I feel bad for Drake. I feel bad for him because, uh, yeah, this is happening. Shenron is just unleashing its fury on him. And there you go. Another victory. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is horrible. And Tommy JDF grows level 77. And here comes Salamence. This is supposed to be his strongest Pokemon, who's supposed to be Mega Evolving. And, uh, yeah, that Intimidate is not going to work against us. So here we go, Dragon Pulse, yet again. Let's go ahead and see what this Pokemon looks like when he Mega Evolves. Look at this. Oh, that's pretty cool. Looks like a boomerang. But here comes the Dragon Pulse for the sweep. And there goes Salamence. Okay. All righty. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Spectacular. 
And yes, we have received a lot more monies for this. I got a glimpse inside your heart. There's nothing for me to say to you. Go forth, trainer. Go on and face your next challenge. And uh, with your head held high, yes. Okay, so... Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and use another ether. Since we're really, you know... Yeah, we're really not doing anything. So let's go with a Dragon Pulse right here. Okay, so... How's it going, guys? How is it going? Uh, you know what? Let's go with Deoxys, okay? Might as well take our chances going up against uh, Steven Stone right here. Alrighty. And here it is, guys. The finale. The final battle. Right here. On Dragon Ball Z. I don't know, guys. We're just going to be battling this guy, and we're going to see how it, everything goes. Here we are up, up top his throne, and, well, he has been waiting for us with a cool pose. Welcome, champion. Let me test my skills against you once again. Ah, oh, man, a few words. Okay, no cool poses or anything like that. And how is he the champion? How? Okay, so here you are, taking on quote-unquote champion uh, Steven Stone, and he is coming out with his Escarmory. Okay, so I probably should have came out with uh, with our good old Pokemon right here, but here we have a level 80 versus uh, Escarmory. All right. Let's see. Cosmic power. All right, we're going to be strategic right here. This will increase our defense and our special defense. And this guy's going to be going with a toxic. So, yeah, he knows that he's not going to be able to beat us just like this. So, here we go. Getting hit by a toxic. And let's go with a psycho cut or psycho boost. And that avoids everything. Good, good golly. Okay, so that is not a uh, very good start to our little battle right here. All right, screw it. Hyper Beam. Okay, Hyper Beam for the win. Super Kamehameha. Bam! And that doesn't do a lot. Holy buckets. Okay, Scar Deoxys, seriously, you're making me look bad. And that was a critical hit. And, uh, well, there goes Deoxys. Well, what did we learn? Never trust the Oxys. Okay, Thunderbolt. Let's go. Time to finish this Skarmory off. And yes, we're going to get hit by the spikes right here. So let's go straight for a Discharge attack. For the win. And thankfully, that Sturdy won't work on us. So there goes Skarmory. Alrighty. Okay, and well, here comes Agron. This Pokemon right here is going to be easy to defeat. So let's go with Leviathan. Alrighty, Leviathan. Time to do it. Okay, and yes, uh, here comes Agron. And this Pokemon's looking pretty toasty. And well, look at this. We're going to get hit by spikes right here. And I think the only way to get rid of that is if you hit it with a... Uh, if you come out with a Steel-type Pokemon. It's kind of the same way as... Uh, what was it called? Toxic Spikes. And well, there goes its Sturdy. And here comes a Stone Edge attack. A super powerful move. And we're going to go with another Surf. While Steven Stone is going to, you know, use that effect of the sturdiness. So here we go. And there goes a critical hit. That's a sturdy. And let's go straight for a Dragon Pulse attack right here. For the win, there goes Agron. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so there goes Agron. Here comes Leviathan at level 79. And, uh, well, let's see. It's going to be coming out with an Aerodactyl. I'm going to take my chances right here. I know Aerodactyl will be faster than us in some type of capacity. So let's see if we could actually get something off right here. And Crap Baskets. Here's the Thunder Fang. And we somehow survived that. Wow. And there goes Aerodactyl. Oh, my God. <laughs> Leviathan continues to win. And here comes a Carbink. Carbink is a rock-type Pokemon, too, right? Whatever. Okay, let's see if uh, this actually works right here. So here we go. Surf Attack. Yes, it is a water-type Pokemon, and it doesn't have Sturdy. Oh, yes. Why have a Carbink on your team? That is hilarious. Okay, so here comes Claydol, another ground-type Pokemon. This 
should be easy. So let's go with a Surf Attack, and hopefully this will finish off Claydol. Maybe not. Nope, it does. How are you a Steel-type Pokemon and have more ground types than anything? I, I, I want to know. And, well, Shenron grows to level 76. And here comes Metagross. Okay, so here is the Pokemon we do have to be careful for. So we're going to go with Tommy JDF, and hopefully its Mega Evolution is enough to actually get it, beat it. So it's at level 79. And, uh, you know what? Let's go with just a Flamethrower attack, okay? I know that... <laughs> This could be risky, but I have a feeling that Metagross does have a sturdy. So let's go with a flamethrower right here. And never mind. Okay. <laughs> okay, we didn't need Mega Evolution to beat Steven. Cool pose. Whew. Man, he's a man of few words. He is. I knew, or I knew you, you would be strong. But I didn't regret our battle. Because each time I that I battle you, I learn more about Pokemon. Yes. I have something I'd like to give to you in thanks for all you've done. And we get ourselves a Metagrossite. That right there is, well, from what he's saying, that is a very special piece for my collection. But I think you are capable of appreciating its worth. Come. It is time we record your great victory. Okay. Alrighty. Let's get this great victory. Okay, so here we are in the Hall of Fame yet again, guys. This room. This is where we maintain the records of Pokemon that prevail through the harshest of battles. It is here that the Pokemon League champions are honor honored. Come, we will use this machine to record your name and the names of the partners who battled along with you to triumph over the Pokemon League. Cool pose. Yeah, okay. We are feeling majestic AF. We are uh, victorious yet again, guys. Yes. No thanks to Deoxys. I mean, Deoxys didn't do anything. So here we are in the Hall of Fame yet again. Here is Deoxys. Hasn't done anything. But this guy right here, Thunderball, has been a huge help. Leviathan kicking butt taking names. My boy, Tommy JDF, may you rest in peace. Look at this, Gaia the Fierce Knight. And Shenron... The badass Pokemon right here. And yes, your badass host, yet again, Pokemon League champion of Hoenn. <laughs> yeah, I own you all. All right, we're pressing that B or the A button. And we're saving the game. Okay, so, um, yeah. Anywho... A huge thank you to every single one of you guys out there in YouTube land. This is the way I wanted to end the year 2023 with the ending of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Uh, yeah, I, it, it's been a long road. Could have finished it early, but you know, you guys already know. Things happen along the way. But I'm very thankful that you guys have, uh, you know, continued to watch my walkthrough videos and all that stuff. And hello there. How you doing there, baby? Get yourself a girl like that, guys. Always by your side. What makes a man strong is a strong woman right there. Anywho, just want to say a big thing right here, guys. I want to, um, I just want to thank you guys again for supporting. Uh, this year has been a, a, a big year for us because we've gotten the most subscribers this year alone. I believe we gotten about like, I think we've gotten about like four, maybe 5,000 subscribers in this year alone. Uh, revenue and all that stuff big and uh, well it, it just makes me want to continue this whole thing right here guys I know that I go back and forth with games I know that I always like to go back to the basics and that's just because for me I'm, I'm old school when it comes to these Pokemon games it always goes back to those particular games it brings me back to when I was a child and all that stuff those are good memories that it, you know I still cherish to this day right here guys and you know I've seen the comments right here onto my YouTube. Yes, you know, it, it does sound like that I need a little bit more recognition or anything like that, but I don't ask for it, guys. I'm just happy with entertaining you guys here on YouTube. Whatever the views come, whenever the views come, they come. And um, 
you know, I just appreciate those those people who actually watch my videos, comment down below, give me some suggestions and all that stuff because many of you guys already know I'm getting a little too forgetful. Maybe it's a CTE, I do not know, but I'm very thankful for every single one of you guys. Now, for this upcoming year, 2024, there's a lot of changes. There's going to be a lot of changes that I want to I want to showcase to you guys. As many of you guys already know, we got a green screen. I know that I haven't come out with any episodes yet for Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond because, well, I'm more focused on this or was fi focused on finishing this. But we got green screen. We got a little bit, a few more surprises, guys. I, I'm excited. Very, very excited for what 2024 brings. And uh, 2024 is going to be my 14th year here on YouTube. And... Uh, I'm just I'm just as surprised as ever that I'm still here. Old man still doing this. 33 years old, guys. <laughs> well, that's not very old. I'm just saying. But again, for those who are old, for those who are new here onto my channel, thank you. Thank you very much for continuing to watch my my product right here. Many more walkthroughs are coming along the way and trust me guys, I have not forgotten about the hat game that I promised you guys. I have not forgotten about Pokémon Y. There's just a few things that, you know, I haven't forgotten about. So I will see you guys in the next walkthrough, which is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And, well, Happy New Year's. Happy Holidays. I will see you guys in 2024. See you guys.